In this video, we'll look at enabling macros in Microsoft Word documents that are downloaded from the net. Here we're looking at macros that are included in the Rubricomatic software. It uses macros to enable you to create and use automated rubrics that automatically calculate the total percentage and grade. Of course, you should only enable macros if the document has come from a trusted source. The macros in this, these documents have been locked to prevent modification of inclusion of malicious code by other people. We can download the document. You'll see here it's being downloaded. And then I can click the down arrow to show it in the folder. Here we'll see we've got the document. I can double click that to open it up in Word. And you'll see it has opened up in protected view. Office has detected a problem with this file. And we can click here for more details. We can click this button to allow us to edit the document because as I said, you can be confident that this document doesn't contain malicious code. And now we'll see a note to say that macros have been disabled. If we click edit content, the macros are now enabled. And we can confirm that by clicking links within the document that show that macros have been enabled and then we can see the toolbar that uses the VBA code. Now that we're in Word, we can see the way Word has been set up to handle those macros. If I click on File, then Options, I'll see the Trust Center. And when I click on the Trust Center, I'll see that macros have been set to disable all macros with notification. So that means you'll have the opportunity to enable or disable a macro on a document-by-document -document basis. We'll also see here's the tab for protected view, and you'll see that I've got all of the options ticked by default, documents from the internet or from shared files or Outlook attachments are opened in protected mode, and I have to click a link to unprotect them. For tools to help you grade papers and mark assignments, go to emarkingassistant.com.